Hello, in this video I will show you how to collapse uh, your structure season connectivity component and in case you saw a uh, cluster connected cluster demolition tutorial where I, also, where I also show how to collapse using collapse feature it works pretty the same way it has the same filters to establish connections and it also has the same slider to initiate collapse and it also has this collapse group which you can use to start collapse your uh, start collapse your structures in game just using one method uh, API okay so now let me just show you first how it looks like and first also first I want to show you my this setup so I have one empty root with a bunch of components and I have this 320 fragments which is quite a lot of fragments I also have the widget component which set to mesh root so uh, it means to copy this widget component and this dust and the bridge component to every fragment when this widget will be initialized and right now it initialized at start also I start simulate all these fragments as an active so it will be possible to push them so some fragments which will be activated they will push other fragments which is still inactive and activate them at some point and I find it looks uh, nice so also also well, I guess I guess that's it. Oh, also, I have this uh, two unyielding components here. So this uh, side, side uh, this area at the left and at the right will be all the fragments inside this gizmo will be unyielding. So I will, whenever any fragment will be activated or any group of fragments will be uh, clusterized, they will uh, check for connectivity with these areas. Okay, I guess that's it. Now let me turn on this show connections so now you can see that there are these red uh, connections which means there are uh, unyielding components here and also there is this green connections and the green spheres so these are inactive uh, fragments and now I will start moving this first I'll show you how to collapse uh, using these sliders here so it's easier to understand how it works in this way uh, when you uh, initialize this connectivity component, it creates all these connections using this filters area. As you can see, there is minimum area, minimum size, and just random percentage value. It means that if there's some shard, will be some fragment size will be less than this defined value here. It will not uh, have will not have any connections with any of its uh, uh, fragments around it. If shared area between two fragments will be less than this value there also will not be connections so in this way you can control how many connections you want to have in this case as you can see all these properties turned off they set to zero so I will I am getting here uh, um, maximum amount of connections and this sliders here they basically uh, copy these sliders but in this case while you move the sliders it just check if there will be like, like now it says it says to set to minimum its value and it said zero point uh, zero two units it means that the small, smallest fragments uh, here has this size so while I will move the slider I will increase the size and all fragments which has size less than the swallow uh, they will lose all the connections and they then they will be activated also I can do the same by this area but in this case it will remove connections uh, in, so for size it removes all connections for fragment with small size in this case, it actually removed uh, connection, uh, which um, which area is less than uh, the size. So now I will start moving this slider, and you can see some fragments start to activate. They start emitting particles, debris, and also there are some green lines disappear. It means that these connections uh, were broken. So here you can see more and more fragments start to activate. And at some point you may see that, uh, so right now I'm not even doing anything, but there are some fragments right now which already activated and they start, uh, they want to fall down, they're pushing other inactive fragments. And while they push these inactive fragments, they also activate them because I have this uh, by offset activation as well. So some of, some activated fragments activate another inactive fragments. And at some point you just don't need to do anything. You don't need to collapse anything, you just can 
started, initiated, and then uh, fragments which fall down, they will kind of do the rest of the job. So you can just watch at this collapse here. Just to, uh, just to find out the uh, good value for your collapse by size property. So again, you can see I'm just I'm not doing anything at all, collapsing on its own. So I can continue collapse here. Remove more connections. I can remove start removing by area here, and or by ra randomly remove some connect uh, some connections. And of course, every uh, you can initiate this uh, connectivity check using its own uh, methods by area by size. Okay, now you can see whole structure collapsed. So this is how it works when you are uh, kind of testing this properties manually. Uh, and as I, I just, just uh, said, you can initiate uh, collapsing using special API, just like this uh, sliders do, does do this. But also there is this collapse uh, group of properties, so this is how you can just set properties once and then just click this start collapse uh, button and it will just go use these properties to uh, collapse object, to collapse your structure. So in this case I will set it by size, I, I think by size is, uh, works great for this case. And uh, so this two start and end uh, properties measures in percent. So in this case, they measure in actual world units because in this case you know uh, it's the smallest and the biggest size, so you can kind of move your slider between these two sizes. In this case, it just uh, shows you the uh, measures in percents from zero to the smallest and 100% will be the biggest. So you can start collapse at some value and end it at some point. You can define duration of your collapse and you can define amount of steps. Uh, so um, in this case, I'm starting with smallest size possible, and I spread uh, collapse over 15 seconds. And every so every uh, maybe as I said here, let's say 15, 15 as well. So it means that every every second it will uh, kind of interpolate a while starting from zero to 75, and then uh, initiate collapse for for this while. Uh, so let's say right now I will set it to 50%. And I will say, okay, I guess 15 every checking it every second, maybe even maybe even every half of the second. So I will set here 30 steps during 15 seconds, and then you can just start uh, click here, start collapse, and just look. And what it will do, let me select it. You can see here, uh, you can see how it just quick slowly moves the slider for you. So it basically simply slowly increase this size threshold, and here it stops at 50%. So this is something you can just set up just once and then uh, test uh, to see how how uh, how it collapses, and it will works in the same way every time. So you see, like, okay, I wanted to collapse it more, so maybe. I should increase. Uh, previously, I set it. Let me set it back. 30 steps, 15 seconds. In previous time, I set it to 50%. And this time, I will set it to 70%. Let's test this property. So you can click start collapse and then watch again how it works. And uh, okay, this time it was too, too quick. Let's set it 55. So it depends on what actually you want to get. You can just play with this properties. You can start already with some high value, so you won't need to wait until it will slowly start collapsing. Also, I think I, this time I will turn off this demolishable because I want to see some clusters, how they fall. And maybe I will set here 20. Maybe I will start with some wallet already, so it will be collapsed at the beginning. No, uh, I guess that's too much.
maybe make it slower also 30 seconds So this, this time you see that this cluster wasn't demolished because I turned off cluster demolition. Okay, uh, also let me just uh, quick, I, I think I will keep this 50%, I think it was it will, it will be great if it will uh, keep some of fragments intact and get back to 15 seconds. Maybe I, I will even decrease to 45 because I want to use other uh, ways to collapse to activate these uh, fragments in addition to collapse activation so here you can see it start collapsing wow 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 <laughs> that's probably too much oh this is why it collapsed so quickly because I set here by area and it's much uh, affects in different ways, so let's get back to size. And here you can see how these cracks appear all over this building. Some fragments just start pushing other inactive fragments and whole building slowly collapse down I think looks great just you don't just you don't have to do anything like right now just watch and enjoy So here are just a bunch of connections which still hold this building. Oh, okay, I think this uh, this collapse properties works good enough. So now I'm going to activate this rock, which I'm, I want to just drop to this b uh, building as well. So you can just kind of drop this building, uh, drop this rock to get some uh, demolitions here. And then you can initiate your collapse. Just clicking here, start collapse to add some more demolitions. And after all, you can also turn on this target here. Oh, sorry, this activator. And if you go up, move it, just break the rest of the structure. So as you can see, all this uh, activation waste, they, you can use them all at once, all together. In previous videos, I show you how to use every one separately. In this one, I just show you that you can use all of them at once. Also, I think uh, also we'll use this gun and target. So I also want to start shooting this building. And you don't have to exactly actually use uh, this gun. It just uh, provides some API, so you can use this API to initiate this shooting. So uh, you can kind of start shooting here. Then... Now I actually wanted to show you all the possible ways but it just collapsed too quickly because there are just too much uh, ways to collapse it. So again you can just start collapse here. So it will, will, it will collapse in addition to this collision. 
and then start shooting. And as you can see, it all works in runtime with particles and debris and uh, quite a lot of fragments, 320 fragments right now. And well, I guess that's it with collapsing stuff. Uh, thank you for watching.